The highly rumored Nano Banana Pro is here. And just like the original Nano Banana, it's about to break the internet. It has some really neat new capabilities, including the ability to generate higher resolution images up to 4K. And now it can use Google search for grounding. Nobody saw that coming. But the most interesting thing, it uses chain of thought during the generation to iterate on images. Now this one is built on top of Gemini 3 Pro, which gives it some really unique new capabilities. So talking of those, you can now blend up to 14 different objects into a single image. It gives you a lot more control. You can create professional grade images with text prompts. It has much better rendering capabilities when it comes to text in multiple languages. And surprisingly, it's really good at creating infographics. And then you have the ability to create images in multiple different aspect ratios. One of the common complaints with the original Nano Banana was that the images are pretty good. However, the resolution is really bad and you can't really use them. But now you can create images up to 4K. So here's a, a example input and the prompt is create an orthographic blueprint that describes this building in plan, elevation and section. Now here we are defining the format, but or the aspect ratio, but you can select that directly here as well. Or if you set it on auto, the model is going to try to use the best aspect ratio that it thinks. So the first thing that you notice is that you're going to see chain of thoughts. Since it's built on top of Gemini 3 Pro, the chain of thought is really good. So usually the beginning is essentially thinking about how to approach the problem. Uh, image generation in this case, then it comes up with the initial design. So here's the initial rendering. And after that, it looks at the rendering to ensure that the user requests are fully included. And at the end, you're going to see the actual creation itself. Now, this is very different than other image generation models, because usually they try to do single shot and don't use chain of thought. One new feature that they have included is you can ground your answers with Google search. It's a very unique new capability, but let's see if the model can actually use it. Can you do Google search and find what are the new capabilities of the newly released Gemini 3 model and then create a highly detailed infographic on that? We actually need to connect an API key, this is only going to work on paid accounts. So during the chain of thought, it says I have initialized a search for the recently unveiled Gemini 3 model from Google. So initially it's doing a Google search and then based on the search results, it's formulating a response. It created an intermediate infographic. So let's actually look at what exactly it has included. Okay, at once reasoning and deep think, PhD level logic, the text rendering seems to be correct, benchmark dominance, actually got the uh, ELO score right, which is pretty awesome. Okay, also it mentions in anti-gravity, and I think it tried to create the logo for it, it got it wrong, but still it's pretty amazing that an image generation model can do this. So yeah, it seems like it got all the features right because it also mentions Gemini agent. Now this also lets you create images in 4K. So let me select 4K resolution. We're going to try to create a scenery and then we're going to directly compare it with the original Nano Banana. So as I said in the beginning, the biggest complaint about the original Nano Banana was that the images that it generates are pretty low resolution, even if you provide a high resolution input image and you can't really use it for anything professional. But with this, you get some extremely high resolution images, which are extremely detailed and you can potentially use for professional work. So here's the final image. Now you can still do targeted edits, just like Nano Banana. Can you change the weather to winter? The lake is completely frozen. During the chain of thought, it's thinking about changing the scene to winter, right? And you can see the uh, intermediate image. In some cases, you will see some differences between this image and the final image that it generates. And the reason is that the model creates a first version 
then it looks at it and ensures that it follows all the requests and details and if it doesn't then it recreates another version so you can actually see here it's trying to verify it in the rest of the video i'll show you some other capabilities let's look at some interesting example of what the model is capable of doing i provided this image in here we are providing instructions in the form of text and some visual cues and then I asked the model generate image following textual requirements in the image and remove instructions. Now here's the output. So it put a bookshelf, the person is playing the guitar and there is a plant exactly the way we wanted. And you actually, if you focus on the person, it didn't really change much. Now one problem that we had with the original Nanobana was that the output resolution was usually not usable. But here you get a pretty high resolution image and also you can upscale it up to 4k if you want which is really useful for professional work but here's the interesting thing next i provided this reference image and i wanted to recreate the same image but with these lighting conditions i said really really good so i said recreate the second image in the style of the first one and you can see here the image during the chain of thought. So usually you will see it will create a few images, but here's the final image based on exactly the same lighting conditions. It did not change anything except the lighting, which is pretty awesome. And this gives you a whole new level of control compared to what was possible with Nano Banana. Some other examples, you can recolor images. I found this on internet. Uh, and now the output is going to be at a much better resolution compared to what Nano Banana was able to do. Now, here's another fun one. Uh, so I provided this image and I said, disassemble this toy into components of antenna, head, body, hands, neck, and wheels. And it's able to actually decompose it into different parts which is extremely smart because this model is built on top of gemini 3 pro so it has special understanding of what exactly it's looking at and as a result it's able to produce images with the special understanding of the components that are present in the image which is pretty amazing next we're going to look at this very interesting example which also shows you the use of Google search for grounding. So I asked it to create a picture of a nano banana dish in a fancy restaurant with Gemini theme. Now during the chain of thought, it first thinks about what the user is asking. Then it creates one or more images. Uh, usually you are going to see one image in the chain of thought. Here, you it actually looks at the image and it makes sure that it's following what the user is asking about all the visual components that are in the prompt are in there right so it seems that it creates an image then it looks at it and verifies if it is following user instructions now when it's happy you're going to see the final image so in this case the model was instructed to create the image in gemini theme now here uh, it uses the gemini theme not the gemini model from google but more on the astrology side because we didn't specifically mention anything about google at all but in the follow-up prompt i said create a picture of a nano banana dish in a fancy restaurant with gemini model theme from google now in this case it is focusing on gemini model and it starts thinking how exactly it's supposed to add to it so it did something really interesting on the tv in the background it put the Gemini logo. This was, I think, the initial version of the Gemini assets that Google used, which is pretty neat. So it does have access to some of that training data. And in fact, I think it also has the ability to look up information uh, on Google as well. I will show you a few more examples here. So it recreated the same thing, but ensuring that the Google Gemini model theme is there, which is pretty amazing. And this really opens up a whole new set of possibilities. It can do virtual try-ons just like Nano Banana, but now the quality is much better. So here's a new dress, a person. Again, when it's 
looking at the creation, you can see the chain of thought that generates an intermediate image, verifies this image uh, to make sure that it is following the prompt. And here we have a pretty high resolution output image. But you can do more with this now because very similar to Nano Banana, you can chat with the model. In here, I asked to change the dress to red and the scene to professional photography studio. You can see it's the same person, same style, same dress, but now she's in a studio. Now keep in mind, if you keep continuing the conversation for too long, you're going to see some degradation, which is expected because you are essentially reaching the limit of the context window. And this was the final output. Then I said, change the scene into scene so that she is having a dinner at a fancy restaurant. And here she is in a fancy restaurant in the same red dress, right? Pretty neat. The main thing is, just like Nano Banana, it can do creative things, but much better. And now you can generate images at a much better resolution. Now to actually show you improvements or Nano Banana, I ran the same problems through Nano Banana and Nano Banana Pro. On the right hand side, we have Nano Banana Pro. On the left is the original Nano Banana. I am hiding the name of the model because this is during the early preview. Okay, the prompt basically is that we want the model to create an image of a lady standing in front of a large mirror. And this is going to show the model capability to create some really interesting scenes, also instruction following. So in the real world, she has a neutral expression and in the mirrored reflection, she is screaming in terror. So Nano Banana generates an image which follows the instruction pretty closely, right? So really good job here. Now, on the other hand side, Nano Banana Pro also does a pretty good job. I would say the quality of the image definitely is much better for the Pro version. And that's a consistent theme that you're going to see across these tests. Now, this is the one that I have been using to see how good the image generation models are. And usually they have a lot of trouble. So I asked it to create an image, an engine two by two comic strip, and this tells a story. Panel number one, robot looks confused in front of a blank canvas. Panel number two, the robot watches a human artist, then the robot learns from the human artist. And then both the human and the robot are smiling at a beautiful creation that the robot did. So if you look at Nano Banana 1, it actually kind of follows the theme. However, in the second scene, you can see that the human is kind of painting on top of the robot. And in the third one, Nano Banana basically lost the plot. So instead of to a robot and a human, it put two humans. On the other hand, I have seen this consistently do a pretty good job. So we have the robot, blank canvas, it's looking at the human doing that. And then we have the human and the robot smiling and uh, being happy at the canvas. Pretty amazing. Now, this next prompt tests its understanding of the physical world. Again, Nano Banana does also a decent job. However, the prompt asks it to create a fish eye effect in the uh, water. It looks really unrealistic or unnatural, right? On the other hand, Nano Banana Pro creates the same effect, which is a lot more natural. So you can actually feel the quality of the output here is very different. Since it's built on top of Gemini Pro, Gemini 3 Pro, so it has a much better understanding of the real world. Okay, this other example was to see how good special understanding this model has. So we asked it to create a clear glass cube sitting on top of a leather book. Inside the glass cube, there's a tiny floating th thunderstorm. And then on the left is a peeling red apple. To the right is a burning candle. Right? So if you look at the output of Nano Banana, you actually see an apple, a candle, and that cube in the right placement. Right. However, you can see somebody took a bite from the apple. Now, in case of Nano Banana Pro, it generates perfect results right, at a much higher resolution and a much higher quality. I really like this one. So here we ask the model to create a hand-drawn diagram of fictional machine called Dream-O-Matic. And then there are supposed to be 
different parts which are labeled. So there's an input slot, dream processing unit, and then we need to have the output labeled as reality. Nano Banana 1 does a pretty decent job at it, right? But uh, I think Nano Banana 2 takes it to a whole different level. It actually also added this, which is like turn to dream. But the quality of the output here is, I think, extremely good. Okay, this next prompt was seeing whether the model can render multiple different items that are mentioned. In this case, Nano Banana 1 does, I think, a decent job. However, if you look at the gun, it's a pretty weird shape. Uh, on the other side, Nano Banana Pro nails it. Now, when you look at these side-by-side -side comparisons, you actually feel the difference of the quality that Nano Banana Pro brings to the table. Now, Nano Banana Pro is definitely on next level when it comes to control, the quality of output that it can generate, and its reasoning capabilities. So do check it out and let me know what you think. I think the image editing is going to look very different in the upcoming year. We probably are going to be prompting the models rather than using tools ourselves to edit images. That also, th that, that also means we might be looking at a completely different landscape and new players in this space. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.